Assalamu alaikum. There is a group of people who say, just follow the Quran. There is no need to follow the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, and his sunnah. Well, I've always said that if you were to follow the Qur'an correctly, it would definitely lead you to following the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. After all, he is the one who was entrusted to bring us the Qur'an. So if we do have the Qur'an, we're actually accepting it from him. Subhanallah. Now, I draw your attention to many verses of the Qur'an where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala clearly says, Whatever the messenger has given you, take it. وَمَا آتَاكُمُ الرَّسُولُ فَخُذُوهُ وَمَا نَهَاكُمْ عَنْهُ فَانْتَهُ Whatever he has instructed you, take it. And whatever he has prohibited, then stop it. Consider it prohibited. And that is referring to the hadith. Now, one might argue, well, the hadith are divided into that which is authentic and not. It's a study. We need to study it. If it's proven to you that this is an authentic hadith, then you need to know that we have to take it. If it's proven to you that this is an authentic hadith, then you need to know that we have to take it. <laughs> 